Drones can be used to explore areas of the reef that are difficult to access by boat, divers, or snorkelers. In this example, the drone is flying over a reef crest near Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. We're discovering colonies of Acropora palmata that we did not know were present. We can see a colony here. The drone is going to fly over it pretty low so we can have a resolution of a few centimeter and be able to validate that it is a colony of Acropora palmata. We can see other colonies of Acropora palmata on the reef crest here. If we were to actually map the area using the drone, the drone would be taking pictures, not a video, and flying in a land mower fashion so that the images can overlap. The images would be georeferenced so that when the image is analyzed, it corresponds exactly to the area of the reef. Okay, we're here in Punta Cana. We're supporting the Carnegie Airborne mission, mission who is collecting data over all of these reefs, which is the site of an expansion uh, of a marine protected area to the south. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to locate areas where there's live coral. And in a boat, we can only cover so much distances and sometimes it's difficult to get into the shallow areas. And so we're able to use the drone to fly over we launch it from the boat and we fly over to these shallow areas at about 50 feet and we can take pictures and video. It's got GPS on board so we know exactly where those photos are taken. We just discovered a large colony of uh, Elkhorn coral over in this direction. We took a lot of video. That information is going to support calibrating the airborne data and allows us to calculate a live coral map for this entire uh, marine protected area. Drones are providing us a new way to survey in areas that previously have been very difficult. So it's a great tool to have uh, when you're out here in the ocean and, and looking for corals, trying to cover a large area. And we can do it with drones much more efficiently and in a shorter amount of time.